Hey guys, welcome to a new movie review. Today we're doing Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the movie, the one that's based on the show. So let's jump into it. This is a Netflix original movie, so it's available on Netflix only to my knowledge. It might come out on DVD at some point, I don't know. But right now, to my knowledge, it's only on Netflix. So if you've watched Rise of the Team, Rise of the Team, Rise of the Team and T, this is the next thing. You don't need to watch that show to watch this. I'm gonna keep that straight. You don't need to watch the show to get this. Obviously, you don't need to know really anything. As long as you know who all the characters are. Like, you know who the turtles are. You know who, like, characters like Casey Jones, April O'Neil, the same characters, not really a spoiler. It's, like, the Foot Clan and the, um, Kring and them. Like, if you know Splinter, you know the, like, the turtle cast or the turtle characters, you're fine. And if you know just the basic, you'll be fine. So, let's, it's, what are my thoughts on this? It's really good. I really liked it. I think the animation was really good. It has some really great moments in it. It's a fantastic little animated film, probably. I'm trying to think of animated turtle movies. How many have we got? We got this one, we have Batman and Team of Souls, and then we have, uh, the 2000, and what was it? Eight, four, six, I don't remember that when I came out. The Thanks to the first one movie. Fourth, I think, turtle movie. I had, like, the, towards the first one to come out. Come to all the turtle movies, but yeah. There's not a lot. I think this one, this one was really good. I'm like, oh, you took this show, you made this amazing movie with it, but I think it was really cool. And it was really good. I recommend it if you've seen if you've liked that show I recommend this and I do like how they stepped it up into it's not mature but they definitely it's not like mature it's not even teen I don't think but they did you did they did say ass once I think said badass something so I'm like okay there is a, some blood I'm like okay you're not trying to be super like for the kids you, you phone some stuff and it's like yeah enough people bleed when they get hurt cut my own cussing like that feels like more like the show the show are not very cussy I think they're not gonna go off like maybe f bombs, but all, all the time. They don't cuss all the time. But stuff like badass and goddamn stuff like so, so, you know the minor stuff. I feel like that's more up there alley. But yeah, let's jump into it, the movie, and actually start talking about it. Starts off with Casey Jones from the future. I think it's with Leonardo, and he's in the future, and they're being obviously being taken over by a evil group called the Krang. If you don't know the Krang, best example I can give of what a Krang looks like. It's like a brain. Maybe we'll show a picture here if I. In my editing show, here's what the crane looks like. They look like a brain thing, brain monster group of things. And obviously, they get attacked. The world basically always is like destroyed. This is the last effort they're trying to stop them. And the plan is they get it's, so it's Michelangelo and Leonardo and Casey are the only ones that are left. Basically, the plan is we're gonna send you back in time, Casey Jones, to warn the other turtles and save the day. Michelangelo opens a portal, save uh, to save Casey Jones back. But he sacrifices himself to open the portal. So it starts off with Michael Eisenhower, like, oh shit. Now the other two is already presumed dead, so it's like, oh shit. This is like, no shit. We'd kill it off. We start off the movie and a turtle dies. I mean, it's from the future, of, you know, like a future was eventually by the end of the movie, you know, it's not gonna happen, because these movies, you know how they, a turtle movie like this, you know how it's gonna happen. When somebody comes from the future to go back to change stuff in time, a lot of times, especially in like movies like Turtles or something like, if they do it in a show like this, you know they're gonna save the day and everything, but uh, that's not really a spoiler, because like, if you thought the turtles were gonna lose in this, it's a turtles movie, you gotta expect some stuff, and obviously, mostly it is probably more drawn, has a lot of kid audiences, but, uh, like I said, Michael Angelo dies, and then we have Leonardo, who I think dies as well, when he puts them through and while he's going through he sees he dies so they're all gone so he has a picture that has all his friends on him and all of the mentors and stuff all the turtles have a mentor and he eventually meets the other turtles who's stopping these guys who are stealing stuff forget the name the characters i think specifically made for this show they're fighting stuff and they're actually walking with the foot clan to get this artifact and then obviously fight and then they eventually lose it the artifact and then they find out Casey Jones appears and tells them everything. And then they find out that Casey Jones, the artifact they have, Casey Jones tells them about the future and everything. And because they wonder, because they find this picture that shows them on this, they're trying to figure out what's going on. And it's like, hey, what's the deal? Why well, you have this picture? What are you? And he explains everything. He's on the future and everything. They didn't believe him at first, but then they eventually do believe him. He's like, okay, shows them like the artifact. And they're like, oh, Leonardo. I'm like, uh, you messed up. The artifact that he's looking for, that kind of destroyed, basically, yes, you let the bad guy get away. Because Leonardo throughout this movie is kind of like doing his own thing or being like solo or doing like his own thing. Like, he's like, I am gonna do this, I can do this, I can do this, I don't need really any help, I don't need to walk as a team, da da da, and eventually, he lands later in the movie to, you know, fix that problem, and also April and Fredo are part of this team as well, and they have to go and find this artifact, so they go to find it, and Raph, and then they get attacked by the Krang, uh, what's called the, uh, Sh Shredder, or the Foot Clan, open it up and release the Krang, and they come through and start attacking, and turning people into, like, Krang monsters, and then they go to get it, and take the device out, and then the crane come in, and eventually they all say, like, hey, we need to leave, this is a no-win situation, we gotta leave. So all of them leave, Leonardo, you know, jumps out and tries to stop, and tries to get the thing. He did get the artifact back, still fighting them, and Raph finds out he didn't go, so he goes to save him, and 
Raph is like the kind of more hard ass guy, like, hey, you need to train, all this stuff. But he goes and basically kind of sacrifices himself, and he gets, there's a point where he gets like stabbed or something, and he's like, gets hurt really bad, and then he has to uh, give Leonardo his like thing to send them back to like thing. So he basically doesn't die, but he gets taken over by the Krang, so he become like one of them. And eventually they have to free him and stuff. And then eventually the Krang can have more, go into a building and make this whole thing, and eventually get back the, they get back the artifact, infect more people, and then they have this big ship that's coming through this portal, and they have to, the turtles and everybody have to stop it. It's a big grand adventure and battle, and there's some parts that are really sad. The turtles and everybody have to go on missions, so we have a group that are going to get the artifact to close the portal, and another group to go in and go into the ship and save Wrath, and you know, stop the ship and make the ship go back into the pool so they do that and eventually it gets to the point where they destroy i think the ship or something and there's like wrath and the big bad guy and they're fighting in the thing and they get thrown through into space into the portal so they're stuck there and the portal closes and they get stuck you see a really cool scene of like leonardo because he's chains and became the character he changed from his being like a selfish more like i'm doing my own thing to being like hey i'm part of the group i want to help i'm gonna listen to other people's ideas coming more part of the team flying through like the middle of like almost like space or whatever the dimension is this thing is what it looks like space and it's really cool some some sad moments it's like i'm gonna sac he sacrifice him basing himself to do it but then they figure out a way to get him out so it's like they do save and they figure out a way to use the powers and stuff and they also have powers if you did not know in the right team reason they have some powers some like powers that they have they do get them taken away by the crank i think the crank or something takes them away they don't have it till the end and then they do get them back and then they do say wrath and they do and everything and keithy jones i guess is staying with them i don't know it doesn't say anything about him going back so i'm gonna guess he's staying there but also if the timeline changes he wouldn't be here but also wouldn't that forget this i don't know what to do with that is if he goes back or not because they don't say anything about that but it's really good i like this fun movie obviously there's pizza eating a bunch because turtle movie and yeah it's a fun movie i really like it. if you have not seen it Brides of Tina Man and the Turtles of the movie check it out on netflix it's really great i'm gonna sell it eight i actually i really liked it i really thought the animation was really great the story was good obviously it's great if anybody can watch it kids adults anybody can watch it it's really good what do you guys think i said let me know and you guys can always stay epic and i'll see you in the next movie you guys bye